Hi, I am uh, Dr. Mangala Ramachandra and I'm a senior consultant in obstetrics and gynecology and uh, my area of interest is uh, high risk obstetrics and I'm practicing in Fortis Hospitals, Banargata Road. Pregnancy is a very beautiful journey in a woman's life and every woman has a right to enjoy it. But sometimes this happiness can be interrupted by certain complications which occur in pregnancy or during delivery. Now certain uh, problems or complications which interrupt this happiness is medical disorders in pregnancy. Now these medical disorders have to be uh, taken care of by the primary obstetrician or with or without the help of a uh, medical specialist and uh, it has to be done in an institution or a multidisciplinary uh, institution where the best care is given to the mother. Medical disorders can impact uh, on pregnancy in two different ways. Now, those uh, disorders which are pre-existing to the pregnancy can increase during pregnancy or pregnancy itself can increase some uh, medical disorders, can induce some medical disorders. Now, pregnancy can cause gestational diabetes or pregnancy induced hypertension which are the two most common things and uh, those uh, medical disorders which are pre-existing like heart disease, thyroid and anemia that is hypothyroidism and anemia can increase uh, during pregnancy. So uh, diabetes or gestational diabetes is the most important uh, disorder during pregnancy and uh, this, has, this is a very important uh, issue because uh, during pregnancy, it can cause a lot of changes and uh, it can impact on the fetal as well as the maternal uh, well-being. Now, diabetes or gestational diabetes has a lot of effects. Now, uh, diabetes itself has impact on pregnancy and uh, the baby can become macrosomic or it can cause sudden intrauterine death of the fetus or it can cause lot of lichen in the uh, uterus that is polyhydramnios or it can cause growth restriction that is IUGR. Now similarly the pregnancy itself has effect on diabetes where it causes poor control of diabetes as the pregnancy advances or it can cause um, uh, various uh, deterioration of function of the kidneys or the, if there is any ophthalmic issues, it can again cause deterioration of ophthalmic issues as the pregnancy advances. Now, on the fetus, it has a lot of effects. Now, fetus can become very huge and it's called macrosomia. And it also causes increased lichen, so it is called polyhydramnios, where the fetus can have various malpresentations because of this uh, increased lichen and uh, it can also cause uh, after the birth of the fit, uh, baby it can cause sudden hypoglycemia in the baby that is decreased sugar levels because the baby is used to very high levels of sugars and uh, hypocalcemia that is decreased levels of calcium and hypothermia so immediately after the baby is born these factors have to be looked into because uh, otherwise things can go wrong for the baby Pregnancy induced hypertension is another major medical disorder in uh, pregnant patients and hence uh, it is important to check BP regularly during every antenatal checkup because there can be a sudden increase in uh, BP uh, with patients who have normal BP throughout their pregnancy. So uh, very good antenatal care should be given to these patients and uh, these, uh, the hypertension which increases and can be treated and uh, can be controlled with diet and drugs. Now diet, salt restriction has to be done and we give certain antihypertensive drugs to control the BP. Now in these patients who already have hypertension, they have some warning signs when they have to report to the hospital immediately like headache, increased headache, giddiness and blurring of vision and upper abdominal pain. Now these are warning signs and patient can have eclampsia which uh, with the hypertension convulsions can occur and it's a real emergency and hence patient has to report to the hospital for further management. Hence a multidisciplinary approach or with uh, backup spe specialities in a hospital is needed to look after these patients.
Anemia is the most common problem during pregnancy and in India the incidence is about 50 to 70 percent. It is usually due to nutritional uh, aspect and hence it has to be treated because it has a major impact and it can uh, become a major problem either directly or indirectly when the hemoglobin is very low. So good antenatal care with supplementation of iron and diet with iron rich foods is very important to overcome these aspects of anemia in pregnancy. So it can also affect the uh, fetus also when it can have growth retardation and the mother which can cause serious uh, problems during delivery. So the uh, important thing during antenatal checkups is diet where diet has to be very good nutrition as well as certain things like salt, sugar has to be decreased so this can cause increase in BP or increase in uh, diabetes during pregnancy and exercise is also very important and the other part is the most important part uh, every patient should have a delivery in a multidisciplinary um, uh, institute where all specialities are there so that any problem which occurs during the pregnancy even though the pregnancy is normal anytime anything can go wrong so hence it should have a way, all the facilities to look after these problems so that the outcome of pregnancy should be very good both to the mother and the baby.